The main achievement of Convention 108 is the setting up of high data protection standards, but flexible enough to be easily translated into the different legal systems and cultures it is addressed to. And this is why even historically Convention 108 uh, has proven to be a source of inspiration for so many legislations in the world. Flexible standards uh, also because they are cleverly uh, formulated as general principles which can be adapted to the different situations at stake in a scenario which technologically is constantly evolving and which would cause a rapid obsolescence of rules if it wasn't covered as it is by broad and resilient principles. I think that what the last few years have evidently shown is a deep link between the protection of personal data and the protection of democracy. Uh, profiling, political manipulation, uh, artificial intelligence are just a few examples of uh, a strengthened, profound uh, relationship of this right with self-determination and autonomy. And this is why I believe that the main challenge, uh, even for policy makers, uh, is the development of a full perception of the risks uh, which are deriving from this new phenomena. Uh, in order to allow uh, the construction of a brave and solid data protection model not confined to a bureaucratic reading of the rules. I have two main wishes for Convention 108. Uh, the first one is uh, the prompt entering into force of the modernized convention. Uh, reaching the needed number of ratifications would mean the entering into force of a unique legally binding instrument at international level for the protection of personal data. And uh, the second wish is uh, the confirmation of the capability of the modernized convention to attract countries from all over the world, thereby confirming its uh, global connotation, which renders uh, 108 uh, a unique uh, legal standard.